Hello, and uh, welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well. I have got a beer for you from Australia. Uh, this one was sent to me by my pal, Travis, over in Melbourne. And uh, he says this stuff is a bit of an institution over there. And it is uh, Melbourne Bitter. Coming in at, uh, what's it coming in at? 4.6% ABV. Australian Brewed, Carlton and United Breweries in South Bank, Victoria. 4.6% ABV. It has no ingredients on it whatsoever. Uh, he did say, obviously it's called Melbourne Bitter, but he says it is essentially a lager. It's in a 375ml can. Uh, very simple artwork. It, reminiscent of Foster's. I'm going to say that much, just a different colour scheme. They're kind of swapped over. So they've got the blue in the middle. And when a Foster's, the blue will be all over the can, right? So it looks very much like a Foster's can. Um, I hope I've not offended any Melbourne Bitter fans. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he sent this one to me a little while back now. I've enjoyed some fantastic Australian beers from him. Um, Deeds Brewery, their beers in particular have, have been outstanding. I've been really impressed with them. Um, but if you ever speak to Travis, um, ask him about his Melbourne Bitter wall. He's got like a, a, a garage almost slash man cave at his place. And he's got like a wall made up of empty Melbourne Bitter cans. So he's obviously worked his way through a few over the years absolute legend so i can't wait to get stuck into this it's ice cold as it should be so let's get this beer out of the can into the glass and see if it's any good get a bit of air on it so we can see the artwork um, apparently, I didn't clean my glass very well. Bit of a uh, carbonation sticking to the side of that. I thought I'd wipe that down. Never mind. Um, we are dealing with a a slightly darker looking lager. Looks like a. I mean, was it four six? Four point six. Maybe just a bit of better better ingredients. It's got a one finger, slightly foamy white looking head, which doesn't seem to be in a rush to disappear, which is encouraging. Um, it's really cold. So the condensation building up on the glass is there. Um, slow moving carbonation, a few bubbles rising up it, but he's not a madman by any stretch of the imagination. Um, let's stick my snout in. See what the aroma is telling me. Not a lot, <laughs> if I'm honest. Sort of subtle, sweet, citrus aroma. A bit of barley malt. It, it smells like a run-of-the-mill lager, to be honest. But that's not a bad thing. I hope this is going to do a job. On a hot Melbourne day, he's obviously, Travis, my mate, has obviously put a few of these away, so it can't be that bad. So let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Crisp, refreshing, well carbonated. There's a bit of a malt character to this one. It's got a good bit of body to it. It's not thin, it's not watery. So straight away, that's a plus for me. I do like a lager that's actually got a bit of a body. I, don't, I might as well be drinking fizzy water otherwise. But yeah, there's a subtle malty flavour to it. Tiniest bit of citrus sweetness. The finish. Very slight, but there is a bit of... A bit of a malty combined with bitterness from, I'm assuming, some sort of hops or hop extract at least that's gone into it. Um, it's not amazing. It was never going to be. Like I say, this is sort of uh, Australia's or Melbourne's version of a mass-produced lager from what Travis has told me. Um, but on a hot day, it would do exactly what you want it to do, I guess. But 
but there's no tinniness to it. No kind of metallic taste, no sort of acidity. It tastes very clean. The ingredients that have gone into it, as little as may have gone in, I'll get my words out properly. It sounds like, the, the, it tastes like the ingredients that have gone into it, although few, are of good quality. They've used some decent malt. They've used a decent bit of hop or hop extract to go into it. The flavour is subtle, but it's pleasant. It's well carbonated. I've got it ice cold at the moment and it's doing a job. And I'll tell you what, it's a little bit of lacing on the glass as well. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> absolutely fine. I would happily drink a few more of those, to be honest. And at 4.6, that's kind of sessionable. That's a sessionable ABV. On a hot summer's day, that would be absolutely perfect. I have no issues with that whatsoever. I can fully understand why Travis has necked a brewery's worth of the stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much else to say about it. It's a very simple, very straightforward, easy drinking lager. But I do like that multi character to it. It's not particularly sort of zesty or metallic -y or you get with a lot of mass produced lagers over here. It's multi. There's body to it. It copes the palate. The finish is very subtle, but it's a nice combination of sort of hoppy extract bitterness and malty character. Subtle, sort of caramelly toffee malt character to it. And it really stings, it hangs around. There's almost a slight dryness to it as well at the back end. It's, uh, yeah, it's decent. It is decent. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, that's all she wrote, really. Very simple drink. But drinkable enough. Uh, thank you, Travis, uh, for this, mate. And the other beers you sent me. Um, incredibly generous. I do appreciate it. Thank you a lot. Thank you, buddy. Um, score. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's a better than average lager, that, for me. Uh, I've quite enjoyed doing it. So, um, yeah, thanks again, Travis. 6 out of 10 for me, mate. Um, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Till my next one. You take care.